All right, so welcome back. Labyrinth is back. So guess what? Today we're doing a quick clear guide. So I've played this multiple times on JP, so I at least know a thing or two because I played it a time or two. So with it, um, let's talk about it. Let's see how it is. Um, I'm going to give you quick tips and just what I went through a little bit of my clear guide, I guess you could say, and what I did in my runs. I did three different, so there will be three different teams that I showed you. Um, basically, the ones that won me it was Ultimate Escanor, the regular Escanor, and Triple Giant, right? So I have three JP accounts to play it on, and yes, I suffered doing it. And those were the ones that I got wins on. Um, I'll talk about the other teams that I use, but today let's jump into it, let's, let's show it off, and let's hop over there. So I got the video playing, right? So first, in the initial thing, they're going to make you pick, um, uh, what is it, from Deanne, Bon, uh, Ragmelly. Honestly, I went for Deanne just because it was fine. Deanne is really good for blocking uh, ultimate stuff like that. She is pretty good. And the run that I actually succeeded with, right, is going to be a triple giant team. Now, what you have to do, and this is the biggest tip that anybody can give you for this entire thing, is you have to pick a same race team. You got to decide who you want to buff and what you want to do. Let's say, and the best way that I'm going to tell you to do it is that on your first thing, right, when it tells you your first buff, if it says increase attack by 150 on this specific race, and let's say it's giant race, just pick giant race and then go giants, okay? I would recommend recommend that if you want to keep resetting until you keep seeing it say human race because human race just have the does have like the better units the ultimate asconar mono kind of shreds there's um bond perk bond can work for you right there's different things and again i randomly go afk because i was doing all this stuff while recording this um or playing this but with it right um i also like how i did it was i went left path so the right path is going to give you these boxes right and it's random i went left path um, I basically bought from the shop here and there. Um, and always, I would recommend this. If you can reset and you have the currency to reset the passives given to you and you can look for a different one or a different set of three, do it because it is so stupid to get a useless passive. That's like, oh, I got demon, demon, goddess. Now I run unknown human this. What do I do? Basically, you're screwed because you chose not to reset it. So make sure you reset it here and there uh, when it's going to give you some garbage thing like that. You shouldn't pick if it's going to say uh, fairy whatever and you don't have that yet or you're not even close to that. Let's say you're like, you're on floor two, you're about to reach floor three. The only have like two more chances to obtain new characters. And if you're picking something like a fairy race and you can't get another fairy, you can have a chance to get a fairy, you're playing it onto RNG, right? So again, yes, this dungeon is very RNG heavy for the reason that you can get like demon buffs and you can have all picks for human characters. You can get human buffs and then, or that you get all the human characters you want and you never get human buffs, right? That could also be the case. I randomly go AFK so often, it's not even funny. So for example here, right? The icons were bad, so I reset it because it was like fairy demon, don't have that. Fairy giant over here, I was running giant team at the time and I'll show it to you right now, right? This is the team that I won with. It was basically three giants. So I used a super simple team. So if anybody tells you you need, need, need to use, um. A human team, it's definitely wrong. I use it full giant team in one. It's just you have to get the buffs associated to whatever team you're running. That is the biggest thing you can do. For example, here, I was forced to keep picking different units because um, I was buffing for now. I was buffing giants, but I wasn't getting good giants at the time. So it was definitely destroying me a little bit. And then I got like a human buff at a time. So I picked a human because I had human buff and giant buff. So I said, maybe I'll get away with that. Um, but you have to pick same race buff. OK, when it comes down to it, pick same race buff. Go for all giants getting boosted, then go for all giants. Or go for all unknowns getting boosted, go for all unknowns. I recommend that humans are the one you end off with just because Escanor, just because there are so many different units that the humans have that are a little bit easier to obtain. You can also go demons and try to get Perg Millie at the end, and you'll be golden. Again, you're cutting it down to RNG. Try to get Berserk Esterosa and then buff Demon Team. Try to get Ominous Zeldris and buff Demon Team. Try to get Chandler and buff Demon Team. Those all are options. So depending on what race you get at the beginning, the very beginning, then you commit. Commit to a team, stick to that team, and completely go for that team. Don't just switch up like last second like, oh, I could, I could rather go uh, uh, um, Fairy Team. Screw that. Go Fairy Team. No. Commit to one. Stick with one use one got it that's the best way you can do it and again if you bring a character here with recovery disable whatever i think that he can't heal i think that's how it is that's what i did right yes he can't recover uh so he can't recover so with this stage the tips i can give you he'll keep recovering you got to do damage so in the first floor is if you do not pick up 150 percent boost on whatever character you're not beating this unless your character has a good ult okay so realize that on this stage you have to have that boost or bring a character that can recover disable again that's what you gotta know. Now, Deanne on a level two can blockade and allow that ult not to go off. When he ults, he'll heal back a lot because he'll do a lot of damage. So you have to bring it in. 
For Sariel also, this is another tip, right? Sariel's boss is super strong, and when you go against it, he will rip you apart. That's why you'll need HP boosts, okay? If you can find same race defense boost or HP boost, those are massive, 100% increase or 150% increase. Those will literally save you. And the only way to beat Sariel is to first damage him above 50%. If you damage him below 50%, he will full heal. If you damage him above 50%, he cannot full heal, okay? So do that, damage him like um, one attack, right? Or depend, yeah, one attack, there's damage cap. So if you're maxed out on your attack and you know that you'll kill, do one attack, it's a damage cap on it. You can't first turn him unless you're running like Escanor and you get, or the ultimate Escanor, and you get like two finger cards that will destroy him. That's it, right? So again, for this run, I randomly chose human, the two diff, uh, giant ones I could have picked. Smarter idea. I was saying like, I'll just switch to humans um, from here. I don't do this. Commit, commit to one team, go for that one team. Got it? That is what you need to do. Um, so again, pick. Let's say you have a defense boost right off the bat, or HP boost right off the bat for humans. Now commit to building humans. Yes, it's gonna be RNG based because you can get terrible humans later on. It's That's how it's gonna be. It is a definite RNG thing, but um, it's Labyrinth, right? It's how it is, deal with it, you move on. It took me a few attempts to beat it um, initially after learning all the like gimmicks, but what I gave you just now, recovery disable for Tarmiel, do that. If you can't, go and blockade him. You can't do that. Try to get your attack really high up before going in and then ult and then use a, a, a attribute, uh, what is it? Attribute advantage card or character like DN and then it'll kind of shred, right? So keep that in mind. Um, but when you start getting those buffs, it'll be super easy when you start seeing it um, because you'll do insane damage for whatever the characters are that have the buff. Um, again, for here, you see that DN had the buff. She just did <laughs> insane damage, right? So depending on what you have the buff for, that is going to help you a crap ton. But um, continue onwards, I'll just show it to you. I switched teams at some point, so again, you'll kind of know that. I was going for human buffs, I was going, this is the team that I did win with, but I did show a different team off in a second. Um, I went against Sariel. I think I made it out of Sariel, right? Yeah, so, I, so yeah, here, you can watch this one so you at least understand. What I did was this, I attacked with that, and I did this, and I didn't attack again, I think. Please use brain cells, I didn't attack again. So I'll use that, that'll hit damage cap. I'll use that, because that won't do garbage, because it's attribute disadvantage and i got no buffs for her so just about 50. now he cannot full heal look at that he cannot full heal i've taken a lot of damage she is dead but i did make it out alive um because again it's you can't let him full heal if you full heal you'll have to do the entire thing again and he has damage cap right so there you go blew through that i had human buff and demon uh rather giant buff on this one i then went against this again um, these are like the next floors, right? So you really never run into a problem on these easy floors, on like the middle floors. Um, rather, let me rephrase, on like the early stages before the boss. You'll never run into a problem, but beyond that, you will start running into a problem when you hit the bosses, because they are super hard, right? So I had a giant buff on top, which I already basically picked up. I don't know why it gave me another one. It was like a different version of that, where if you use two cards or a slider card or get an ult increase, it's going to um, lower the defense or attack on the other, on the enemy. So I went for that, I think, which is in the end. I got rid of, right? I got Margaret. So I did get rid of Giants. Okay, don't do that. Don't listen to me. Don't do that. All right, don't do not do this. Commit to uh, leveling get something up. And the reason I picked Margaret, all right, all right. So this is it. The reason I picked Margaret in the end was due to the fact that at, when you get to Belmayel, he'll apply Ignite for you if you attack or he attacks you, correct? And when they does that, after a few, like after the second round, you will take an insane amount of damage. He'll one-shot you. Okay, so if you can't cleanse or you can't kill him that fast, that's a problem. If you can apply a insane amount of defense and HP to your characters, you will win. People I saw had like a million HP because they just kept getting the HP buffs and they just kept killing because of that. So realize that it's purely RNG. You'll get some good RNG. You'll get to do some good stuff. I want to show you the next team because there is a team that I ran that was super helpful. Yeah, so back up, right? So again, I beat with that one. This is the team that I used to make this video short. I'm talking for way too long. I used Deanne, Scotty, and Droll. Okay, I kept buffing giants, kept buffing giants. The thing is, the buffs that I got at the end were like attack related buffs, and then I stopped getting HP buffs. So without, literally without, I think I only got one HP buff. Without any other HP buff or defense buff, I was still able to win, even though this 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 run was scuffed to hell, okay? And I still won um, being, because Scotty's just nuclear with damage, honestly. But um, I had Melly in the back also. I got a gold card for him. I kind of won because of that too. But um, realize now that you have to try to get some attack. You got to try to get some HP buffs and then your team will be kind of golden. Um, you get it. It's again, this is the entire point of this. And usually it's different. Sometimes it's like run a different race all, the uh, all together, run a different attributes all together. Um, but you see like here, it was like raw 20% HP boost. I just went for that because I knew my luck was so bad um, prior to this that I wasn't getting anything good. Um, here, I got rid of her for... 
No, I got rid of Merlin for Perg Melly because Melly would do like innately high damage. Plus I had one demon buff earlier um, in the thing. So I was like, oh, put two and two together. It should kind of work out. Continuing onwards again. Um, I think I just gave as many tips as I possibly could. It's it's easy if you know what you're doing. Pick t good units, okay? Go for Ultimate Escalor. Go for Perg Melly. Go for Berserk Asterosa. Go for um, full Giant Team. Go for full Human Team. Go for full Unknown Team. Depends on what you run. It could definitely work. You can get Chad King also. Run a full Fairy Team. It's just harder to get Fairies, I would say, to where I would just remain full Human Team. They're the easiest to obtain. Full Giant Team's also kind of easy to obtain. So keep it to a race that has so many units. Demon Team also, you can get Chandler, you can get Cusack, you can get uh, Berserk Rose, you can get Purgatory Melee, you can get so many units, right? So leave it to a team that you have a lot of also. I don't know if they changed it, because if you don't own a character, can you use a character in here? I don't know if they updated that. I think they updated that where they said, yeah, if you don't have a unit, you're fine still. But yeah, I actually don't know. So keep that in mind also. But uh, finishing it up all four to the end here, these stages are super easy to get through. Um, this is, again, it's easier. It's just I took damage on Deanne a little bit. So she died right away, basically, when I get to the uh, next stage. Um, yeah, she had damage here, right? So which kind of sucked. Now onto the stage. What happens is he will heal. If you kill him in the wrong way, he'll also full revive or like partially revive. So you have to play it properly. You got to play it safe. You got to do enough damage to kind of nuke him. And for example here, I had two reds and a green. So... My Scotty, which was like my main damage dealer, really wasn't doing too much here. And my DM was literally about to die. I hopefully, I think, yeah, I did Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. Because she was like doing so much damage originally. And then here, unless she crits, she wasn't doing too much. So if you look at it, you have to buff attack heavily. And he will heal. You'll see how much he heals here. And look at all the um, debuffs put on Scotty there. Uh, DN took some really big damage there. Scotty will also, because of all those debuffs, all those uh, on her, just kind of shreds her. Then... What is it? Droll taking a little bit too. I was hoping to get some good cards here. I got a Droll card, which is good. So I did Droll, Droll, and then Melly. Oh, no. I did three Drolls. Okay. So three Drolls. There's that. 101. There's that. 60,000. And there's that for 29,000. Which, again, now he guarantees the kill on... Um, see, this is the HP buff in effect there. Popping off for me um, on Melly. He's going to survive here. And then she's going to die here. And I basically won just because I got a gold here for Melly. And I had... Again, it gives you three attacks, right? So... I had more than enough to basically kill, but you'll see here in a second. It's going to pretty much shred, leave him with one shot, and Droll's going to get the last kill. And boom, we're done. That was the quick clear on the um, thing. Now, the thing is, now that I did all of that, right? Oh, I didn't save it and show it to you. But um, because of that, I go on to the next stage, and I get one revive. I still made it a decent way in. It's just that my characters basically died because one, one was low, very low, and then one was like partially injured so you can't really do much on the bottom floor but realize that you have to bring in like a pretty solid team so just keep rerunning it get Escanor. do it like it's a pastime thing all right if you're really it's really annoying you and you want those 10 gems do it as a pastime thing here and there log in see how it goes see if you get some rng if you don't get some rng just keep resetting okay that's how you should do it but it's a genuinely pretty kind of simple one if you know what you're doing hopefully i gave the tips properly but uh yeah it's been it hopefully it helped you and that's the quick labyrinth guide yeah